In the heart of Helena, Montana, a vision is taking shape. A vision not just of a building, but of neighbors united by a shared passion for sports, wellness, and an exceptional quality of life. Welcome to The Ark, the proposed multi-sport and entertainment complex that promises to redefine recreation in our region. Through the CVB and through some of our marketing efforts, we've really determined that one of our emerging markets is youth sports. Um, folks are spending a lot of money to travel around with their kids and participate in sporting events around the state and around the country. Um, it's become much more regionalized, and so the opportunity to have something like the ARC would really impact economics here in Helena. It would open us up to a whole region of folks in the Pacific Northwest that we just haven't been able to access before. And being centrally located in Montana is one of the biggest things that we want to highlight. Folks don't want to travel from Kalispell to Billings anymore. They want to meet in a central location where they can play teams or see teams they haven't seen before, but still have the opportunity to not have to travel, you know, six to eight hours to get somewhere. I'm Dick Anderson, been a member of the Helena community. I was born here, so I've been here for, I guess, ever. <laughs> You have a tremendous number of people working extremely hard to get this idea to come to fruition. And I think it's just, it's kind of one of the last check marks for Helena to say, you know, we are a, you know, a town that really cares about our whole community, about having entertainment, having sports, having a place to, have events, and, and we, we just don't have that. This is going to bring in tens of millions of dollars to this community. I always keep track of, as a business owner, I'm, I'm tracking um, those small businesses that are struggling, and wow, that would bring such life into just the business world alone. The ability to host concerts, the ability to host travel basketball, rec league basketball, club volleyball tournaments, wrestling tournaments, a year-round space. Uh, it's May 8th today and we're getting three inches of snow. So it's just perfect timing for something that is really overdue. And you look at the population just five years ago, in 2019, we have certainly grown since then. And costs have certainly gone up since then. We can't wait another five years. I see so many patients with anxiety and depression on a daily basis. The rates are really significant. Exercise has a significant impact on mental health in a positive way. I think the ARC would be an incredible resource for the community. It can help minimize mental health symptoms. It can help connect people, which also helps improve mental health symptoms. I think the beauty of the ARC is that it could be a year-round facility that offers a space for people to go in the winter, the colder months, and continue to move their bodies and continue to socialize. The ARC really can play a role in helping to reduce the chronic diseases that we see in our community. And we do see a lot of them, um, such as diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and those are preventable and manageable. As a parent, I would love that, you know, nine o'clock uh, practices for a second grader um, aren't a thing anymore, that we're allowed in the winter times where we're limited gym space, um, are able to practice at a reasonable time. Traveling for youth sports, it's the worst. I mean, one weekend you're in Kalispell, the next weekend you're in Billings, you're spending money into these other uh, places, getting hotel rooms, and so it, it's hard to really um, have something that's not centrally located. So for family members that maybe can't afford to travel like this, uh, this would bring a centrally located facility to allow those family members to take part into these youth sports. There's multiple uses for it. So I really encourage you to get involved. We're going to be asking you for some money, but you'll make it back, especially if you're in business. This will be greatly appreciated by the business people. And I'm telling you now, as sheriff, I will appreciate it because it will give young people something to focus on besides mischief. Whether you're a parent, an athlete, a business owner, or simply a proud resident of Lewis and Clark County, 
Now is the time to stand up and support the ARC. Drowning is actually the leading cause of accidental death in children ages um, one to four. And that is not just in pools, that is in natural bodies of water, that's in buckets of water, that's in streams, bathtubs. Learning the skills of being in the water and how to be an aquatic problem solver are really important early on. And since we know that they can be done early on, why not prevent that from happening? I, I, I've talked to many parents about swim lessons and uh, how quickly you have to be on the trigger to schedule those swim lessons. There are so many um, great lessons provided here in Helena, but they're limited as well because of space. And I think that, I think that this arc, this facility, um, the extra pool space indoor that is year round, because I think that's important, the year round piece. I know that more families can be reached with more facilities. Uh, I'm Ryan Cutter. I'm a PGA professional, uh, the director of instruction at Green Meadow Country Club, double amputee PGA professional. Uh, I believe the only one in the nation, not 100% sure on that. I've been looking, you know, a couple years down the road of getting an indoor facility so that I can teach in the winter here. And this was a perfect spot for my nonprofit because I could see what it could do for the community. And not only can I help, you know, about the 10% of people that are disabled in our community, but we can give access to this game of golf to everyone. And not only golf, we can give them access to basketball and soccer, and we can introduce them to all these sports. And that's what really got me through my life is, is sports. I had some really down, down times on trying to figure out who I was. I kept going back to golf that brought me back out of that and so if we can bring that to others whether it's golf or soccer or basketball to help them get out of a depressive episode in their life or to bring them back to the reality that they live in instead of staying at home and, and playing video games all day you know we got to get them out in the public get them out with with people to express who they really are as a person to help contribute to this wonderful community Every generation leaves a legacy. Together, we can build a brighter future for our veterans, families, children, and all Montana communities. It's a big number on the project, but it's necessary. It's, it's long overdue. There's been pushback for too long. And I can tell you, housing and construction costs only increase over time. Right now, we're City of Helena, citizens were traveling to Missoula for outside concerts or indoor concerts or different venues, different entertainments. This is an opportunity to bring that entertainment into town. And it's been pushed back long enough. This is the time to do something. I think it becomes, if not now, then when? If we continue to kick the bucket down the road um, and not start putting some time and effort into our community, then you sort of are in this space where we're, we're lagging. The, the longer we wait, the further behind you become, and then you quit getting asked to the dance. And, and that's all it is, is taking the first step forward into really investing in our community. The possibilities are limitless. The range of reach on this is so big and so long lasting in a positive way that I just don't see how anyone can say no to this. Generations ago, community minded leaders had a vision. The Cathedral of St. Helena, the YMCA, the Civic Center, Carroll College, and other great landmarks came to life. Looking back, these were milestones in our community's rich heritage. That generous giving and foresight planted the seed in our community that has grown into a sense of pride. The pride in knowing that we can all band together to make a better life for ourselves and future generations. Together, let's ensure that the ARC becomes more than just a dream. Let's make it our legacy for generations to come. The ARC, the future of health in the heart of the Rockies.